Hey there, it's Jamie and welcome to my channel. So my favorite sale of the year, which is the Nordstrom anniversary sale is coming. Mark your calendars for July 3rd, which is the preview day. You can't buy anything, but you can look at all the things that will be available for you. And then I will talk about the shop dates because they have certain shop dates for everybody. And then I will explain to you some of the things that you can do to make shopping easier, to get what you want and get you excited for the sale. So first of all, this sale is not on summer pieces. You will find some summer pieces in the sale, but this sale is all about new fall. And I love that so much because I worked retail for many, many years and July was the slowest month of the year for us. Normally our sales in the month of July were probably a week's worth of sales every other year of the month. So just to know that it just blows my mind when I heard about what they do for this sale. This is exciting for me. I hope you get excited after watching this video. And if you have never shopped it, you need to shop it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you can find classic pieces, essentials, and then trendier pieces. Shoes are amazing. So I'll go through the list of things as well. But first, July 3rd is the preview. Everybody can preview. You can even add these items to what they call a wish list. So create a wish list on your account and add those to your wish list. Name it Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. And then when your shopping day comes, which I'll talk to you about the dates here in a second, then you can just put them in your cart and order them, especially if you don't have a Nordstrom near you. And so the date that you can shop if you are icon status, which means you spend a lot of money with Nordstrom or you are a very, very heavy influencer, that's July 11th. Then July 12th is your ambassador, which also spends a lot of money. I don't know what, what else that entails, but I am the influencer and card holder early access, which is July 13th. And all I have to say here is that if you want to shop early and you want to get products and it's important to you to get some of these things on sale, then definitely get a credit card if you can. I know a lot of people don't like having various credit cards, but this gives you access. All every, everybody else, all the public will shop on July 17th and then the sale ends on August 6th. So the earlier you can shop, the better. So if you can become a card holder, definitely do that. And I have created a blog post for you guys. If you want to check out the blog post, if you need any other information on it um, and want to go back, I'll link that in the description. So tips for shopping this sale. So if you are shopping the sale online, definitely create a wish list. Definitely look at the preview. But what you really need to do is know what you need or what you want. So go through your closet. It's the best thing for you to do to go through and see what you need because when fall comes, if you need a cashmere sweater because yours is all pilled and old, then you just missed the opportunity to get one. So definitely go through your fall, see what you need. Learn what the trends are. I usually do a trends video during this time, so I will talk about them as I talk about the Nordstrom sale. And fall trends, talking about them in July is a little weird, but usually that helps people to figure out if they want to try new trends or want to know what's in and want to get some things that are in. But another thing that you can do is download the app. So if you're shopping online, if you download the app, you create your wish list, it will notify you on your phone if you turn on notifications when something comes back in stock. So during the sale, if, if you have shopped and you have this item that you really want and you want to know when it comes back in stock, that is the quickest way for you to learn about it and then you can order it. And I know some of you are probably saying, wow, she's really serious about this sale. But you know what? A lot of people want to shop deals. And these are going to be the best deals on some of the best items, on some of the best brands, even your contemporary and high-end brands that you will find year round and you're getting in on top of all the fall things. So if you are a card holder, then you will want to make sure your card is added to your account. What you don't want to do is go on your shopping day, which on my shopping day, I wake up at 2 a.m., usually 1 or 2 a.m. when they first release everything. They release my account to be able to purchase. 
I get up early and I do it because there have been many times where things have sold out. Yes, that might be a little kooky, but that's what I do. But what you want to do is make sure that that card is on your account because it will not let you know what day you can shop and it won't let you shop if you do not have that on your Nordstrom account. And I think it's absolutely secure. I've never had a problem with them and I just think it's a really good thing to do. You can also activate a double points day. You want your double points, so definitely do it on the day you're going to shop. It only lasts 24 hours, and that's usually something that you go into your account and you can check it off on your account. So the last thing I want to recommend here, if you're shopping and you have a store near you, which my store is three hours away, it's in Nashville, but it's totally worth the trip. If you can make an appointment ahead of time with a stylist because you really want some help during that time, then I recommend you do so. They're amazing. You can give them, you know, everything about yourself that you know and, you know, what you want and they will pull things for you. And it makes a huge difference because they know their product way better than you do. Even me being a YouTuber and into fashion, I have so many retailers that I look at. I don't have the ability to go in store and shop a lot. And so having that person that knows their product, knows what's good, can, you know, think about what would be good for you is worth it. And it's a free service. I had somebody ask if you tip people like them, if you want to, I think you can, but I usually don't. I didn't even think about it until somebody asked me. And, you know, I did this for a really long time. I was a stylist that people came in and they would come and see and I would work really hard for them and no one ever tipped me in the many, many years that I did it. So, but you are welcome to if that's what you wanna do. So now I just wanna talk about some of the things that you will see in the sale. And a lot of the brands have changed from year to year, which is kind of nice, but you will see a lot of brands that are contemporary brands. I think Mother Jeans is going to be in the sale this year. Birkenstocks are gonna be in the sale. Frame Denim is usually in the sale. Now, Sam Edelman was not in the sale as much last year. They're my favorite shoe brand, and I'm hoping that they will have some, but who knows? And of course, a lot of the brands at Nordstrom that are their in-house brands are a little bit lower priced, and you will find a lot of those brands at a really good discount. I normally shop the Zella leggings because their leggings, to me, are just as good as Lululemon or um, Athleta, and they are about 38 to 40 bucks, something like that, and it's worth it. I always look for the 7 8 legging, and I buy a couple of pair every year. So there are certain things that you get used to buying and you may want to go back for, and then there's newer things that you can find. There's a lot of trendier items that you'll be able to find, which I usually try to pick a few good ones that I think are there that are trends that are going to last. So, you know, and I know not everybody loves to do that. So there are lots of things. You will find essentials. You'll find cashmere sweaters, t-shirts that are just everyday t-shirts and all kinds of things. Probably some sort of trench coat will be in the sale or some sort of jacket. And there's a lot of fur coats that are really cute. And there's a lot of good options. And most of the discounts on their items are anywhere from 20 to 50% off. And I just think that is wonderful. So just a couple of tips when you are shopping that you can do when you're shopping online if you don't have the ability to try everything on. So what you would do is when you have things in your wish list and your day comes up to shop, put them in your cart and order them. Do not think too much about them because a lot of times they'll sell out. It's happened to me even when I get up early, early in the morning. And pick multiple sizes. If you're not sure of your size, and typically brands run certain ways. So it might be true to size, it might run big, it might run small, then order accordingly. One size that you think would be your size and either up or down in it, depending on how it runs. It is so easy to make a return with Nordstrom. You can either just mail it back and usually during this time they are pretty quick because they wanna get that stuff back in stock or you can return it to a store in town. You can even return items from Nordstrom to Nordstrom Rack. So just to recap, the preview day starts July 3rd and you can add anything that you see to a wish list on your account that will allow you to shop it a lot quicker. And add a credit card to your account if you have one. This will open up whatever shopping day is yours and then you can use your credit card. If you do not have a credit card, you should definitely get one if you can so you can shop earlier. 
And then when you do have the ability to shop, when your day comes, I would get up early. I would get up or whenever it is your time to shop, do it right then and do not hesitate. Put everything in your cart and order it because I have not gotten stuff before because I hesitated. And you can do multiple orders. If you wanna throw a few in there and order it and then a few more and order it, then I would definitely do that if you're having trouble deciding. And then if you don't know your size, order a couple of sizes. Their returns are super easy. But also remember to activate your double points day. If I did not say that, because you definitely want your double points. And if you're a new card holder, you will have a $40 note. And also, come back here and watch my videos please if you love this sale i will be talking about a lot of the things and just share a lot of it with you because it is just so exciting and so much fun and i also have a blog post that will put all of this information on it and i will link it in the description for you below so thank you so much for watching i hope you're as excited as i am and i hope you come back and watch my videos have a great day